Welcome back to the Aberdeen Audiology YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Dr. Tom Goyne, Chief Audiology Officer at Aberdeen Audiology. Uh, we have offices in Wayne, Malvern, Westchester, Pennsylvania, basically the western suburbs. Uh, and so if you can get to us, that's great. If not, we're often able to help people through uh, telehealth. Uh, and so one thing I wanted to talk about today was the idea of habituating to tinnitus. Uh, this is really, for the most part, our goal when it comes to tinnitus. In many instances of tinnitus, which is, you know, a perception of ringing or buzzing or chirping in the ears that's always sort of there, you know, really, unfortunately, in most cases, we cannot make the tinnitus go away. Uh, but in most cases, we can help people habituate to the tinnitus. Now, the thing is, a lot of our patients will sometimes be a little skeptical that that's possible. They are bothered so much by the tinnitus. They are distracted so much by the tinnitus. The tinnitus seems so loud that in their minds, they sort of think, how can I ever get used to this? I, I can't imagine I'll get used to this. And habituation is that. It's, it's the process of getting accustomed to something learning to just sort of forget about something, not necessarily forcefully ignoring it, but really more just, just forgetting about it. And sometimes when I'm sitting with patients, I will um, ask them a question. Uh, I, will, I will say, hey, you're sitting here right now with me. Do you feel your feet in your shoes? And they'll stop and they'll think about it. And I go, well, I mean, if I stop and think about it, yes, I do feel my feet in my shoes. But for the most part, People aren't walking around thinking, yeah, there's my toe rubbing on the end of the shoe. There's my heel rubbing on the end of the shoe. I can feel actually my socks and my shoes. People aren't thinking about that. They're just walking. They're forgetting about their shoes. Another example I will often use is I will ask people, okay, you're wearing glasses right now, or maybe you were wearing sunglasses before you came in. When you're wearing glasses or sunglasses, do you see the frames? And the answer is, well, if I look for them, yeah. Yeah. If you look for them, you see them. But other than that, it's not like you're distracted by the frames all the time. Even people who, you know, have gotten used to, um, you know, more traditional bifocals in the past. And there used to be that line there. You know, people just got used to the line. They just stopped seeing it. They got accustomed to it. They habituated to it. And so that's what we are after with tinnitus. If, if you run into somebody who has tinnitus, but they just don't really think about it much, they've habituated to it. Uh, and so that is proof that we can habituate to things. Uh, if you've ever lived next to somebody, or if you've, I'm sorry, if you've ever uh, met somebody who lived next to a busy highway, or maybe you have, or railroad tracks, or an airport, you know, eventually those people, they just sort of forget that the railroad tracks or the airport or the highway is there. And if you ask them, hey, do you hear that? They'll stop and they'll think, yes, I guess I do. But they just don't really think about it that much. Um, and so... Uh, really, that's habituation, and that is our goal with tinnitus. Now, how do we do that? We have different tools uh, at our disposal. Um, some things are, um, you know, tinnitus retraining therapy, which has been around for a few decades. But really, what we've been using quite a bit as of late is bimodal stimulation. And the way we've been employing bimodal stimulation is through a product called Linear, uh, which is FDA approved. Um, you know, really, I've sort of been joking, it's a little bit like a microwave in that it really shortens the time that it takes for um, habituation to happen and kick in. Uh, and there's some really good science, uh, neurology, neuroscience, and neuropsychology behind all of this, but it really works. And so we have found that if patients simply go through the steps of using Lanier, uh, trust the process, so to speak, uh, and um, just sort of let things happen, the habituation happens and eventually they get to the point where yes, they hear the tinnitus, but they're just not really thinking about it very often unless somebody asks about it. And even then they're able to pretty well forget about it and leave it go. So believe me, we're all capable of habituating. We do it all the time. Uh, the trick is uh, to uh, sometimes accelerate the process uh, for some folks who are really distracted and bothered by tinnitus. Uh, and, you know, we have any number of tools that can help people do that. Uh, Linear is just the most prominent one and the one we use uh, quite often, but we have other tools as well. So uh, if tinnitus is something that is bothering or distracting to you or affecting your quality of life, we'd love to hear from you. 
uh, simply give us a call, uh, send us an email, uh, and uh, we can get you in either for a telehealth visit or an in-person visit and come up with a plan that's going to help. We're, we're certain there's one. We just we just have to have a conversation and figure out what it's going to be for you. So hopefully you got something from this video. Uh, stay tuned to this channel. Uh, maybe even uh, subscribe, as they say, and uh, and and you'll get you'll get more uh, notifications of of these videos as they come about. Thank you.